Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. It's module 4 of grade 2. Get your name down there first. <clears throat> and we're solving vertically. We're practicing more vertical subtraction. And you'll see in these charts, there's space here for the hundreds, but we're not using them yet. These are all just two-digit subtraction problems. But eventually we will be using hundreds also. Just not right now. So, we're solving vertically. This one has already done the uh, place value chart and the pictures of the chips. So, we'll just do the vertical method. Now, please, when you do this, 42 minus 26. Don't just do it like this. All right, and we know it's going to be... Oh, it's, start, it's been started for us, but it hasn't been finished yet. So let me erase this. So here we can't cross out six ones because we only have two. So unbundle to ten. Now we can cross out six. And we have four left with two. That's six ones. And we have three tens. So you can see your answer is going to be 36. Don't just do this. Because then you just didn't you didn't do the vertical method, and everyone can tell because there's no crutch marks in here. We should have some crutch marks up here to actually show that you did the vertical method. And if, and if you even if you're doing looking at this vertically and doing it mentally, please you still have to have the crutch marks because the whole idea of this is to practice making them and practice using the vertical method. If you're doing this mentally, chances are, especially in the beginning what you will do is subtract up and you won't you'll get instead you'll get six minus two is four and four minus two is two you get 24 instead of 36 it doesn't work so don't don't subtract up use the method right just like we did here you have to unbundle a 10 so you have to do this with numbers now that you've done it with the picture three tens left. Right. Oops, you know what I did on this here? I forgot to subtract the two tens, didn't I? I should only have one ten left for my answer. So three tens left, and now I'm going to have, like I had here, twelve ones. Twelve minus six, six, and three minus two, one, sixteen, so it does match. If you actually remember to subtract, subtract the tens in your picture. 54 minus 28. You know what? Try it vertically first. See how you do. Try it vertically first. Give yourself plenty of room in that circle. Right. Going to have to unbundle... Gonna, you can't subtract 8 from 4, so we have to unbundle a 10. We'll have 4 10s left. But we'll have 10 more 1s. Still 10 and 4 is 14. We'll have 14. 14 minus 8 is 6, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Now doing this with a picture, we've got the 54 drawn for us already. Can't subtract 28 because we don't have 8 1s to cross out, so we have to unbundle a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and then we can, now we can cross out eight. Well, we know we're going to have two left. And we're going to cross out two more tens because we're going to subtract 28. So we have two tens left. And how many ones do we have left? We have four, five, six, six ones. It's 26. So this is how you check your, uh, this is how you check your computation is you use two different methods and if you don't come out with the same answer if you use the same method twice then you're gonna make the same mistake twice and you have the same wrong answer twice and you think you have the right answer and you won't so if you use two different methods you can't make the same mistake twice so that's why you use two different methods to check your computation 
plenty of room up above. The 60, I don't have any ones up here in my menu end. So I'm going to have to unbundle some tens. I'll have five tens left when I do that. But it'll give me ten ones. And now I can subtract ten minus seven, three, and five minus one in the tens, forty-three. Let's see what happens in the picture. They already have this, the menu end drawn for us. But I can't cross out 17s. I don't have any 1s. So let's unbundle this guy here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can cross out 7 1s and a 10. And count what's left. I have 3 1s. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 10s. And we have the same difference. And we're doing more. We're solving vertically and using the place value chart and chips. It's just more of the same. 31 minus 48. When we're solving vertically, let's do it, solve vertically first. Try it first if you can. If you get stuck, then just stop wherever you are and draw the place value chart and finish it from there. Minus 19, but try it vertically first use the whole vertical method don't just do it mentally this is actually a lot easier to solve mentally than it is to do it on paper and pencil because that 19 is almost a 20. you can see what you're going to get if you if you can do that mentally you can see that that 19 is almost a 20 so you'd be you, you would have 11 left and then add one back if we should end up with 12 left but let's just do this you don't have enough ones to subtract nine ones so you're going to unbundle a 10. Two tens left, 11 ones. 11 minus 9 is 2, and 2 minus 1, there's our 12. And if we draw it, tens and ones, 31 is our menu end. We need 9 ones, at least, to be able to subtract. So we have to unbundle this 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, there's our ten ones. Now we can subtract nine ones and a ten. And we have one ten left and two ones is twelve. Forty-seven minus twenty-four. Let's see. Now uh, we ooh, this is one of those times where it's, it turns out that it's pretty easy. We don't have to unbundle any tens. Seven minus four, we can just do that. That's three. And four minus two is two. This is one of those times that the digits just work out for us, and we'll see our chart's going to be easy too, right? Because we can draw the one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can cross out four ones, and we can cross out two tens. Then we have two tens left and one, two, three ones. 51 minus 39. 51 minus 39. And give us a plenty of room above the 51 because we've got some work to do here. Uh, one minus nine. This is. The minus sign is down here for a reason. It's because we're subtracting three tens. We're subtracting nine ones. We're not subtracting a one from the nine. We're subtract because the minus isn't up there. It's down here. So we have to unbundle a ten. And then we'll have ten more ones. So ten plus one is eleven. Eleven minus nine is two. Four tens minus three tens is one ten. We should have twelve left if we check it with our chart. Tens and ones, fifty, one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty one. Can't cross out nine ones. This is pretty easy to do mentally because that's thirty nine is almost forty. So, but we're practicing. You know that now we have three different ways we can practice it mentally we can check it two different ways pretty easily but we still have to do this so all right nine ones we can unbundle a ten one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out nine ones. And I can cross out three tens. One, two, three. And I have one ten left. And one, two ones. Twelve. Sixty-seven minus forty-four. Big circle. Lots of room at the top. And let's see, seven ones. Can I take away four ones? Yes, I can. I have enough ones. So that's three ones left. And then six minus four. Six tens minus four tens. I'll have two tens left. I didn't have to unbundle anything. All right, 67. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cross out four ones. One, two, three, four. And then cross out four tens. One, two, three, four. And I have two tens and three ones left. 76 minus 54. And can I take away four ones from six? Yes, I can. I have enough ones, so I don't have to unbundle any tens. Two ones left, and then seven tens minus five tens is two tens. Put this in the chart. Draw our tens and ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our menu end. Then our subtrend is 54, so we have to cross out four ones and five tens. One, two, three, four, and five tens. There's a five group right there. So two tens left and two ones left. It's 22. Great. We're almost done now. 82 minus 59. That's our menu end is 82. That's what we have. We can't take away 9 because we don't have 9 ones. So we need to unbundle a 10. Cross out one of those 8 10s and we'll have 7 10s left. But we'll have 10 more ones plus the two we already have here is going to be 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. 7 tens minus 5 tens is 2 tens. And we draw, draw on the chart. Tens and ones. 82 is going to be 8 tens. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2 ones, 1, 2. Now we'll look at our subtrahend. It has, five, it has 9 ones in it. Nine ones. We don't have nine ones to cross out, so we unbundle this ten, just like we knew we would have to, because that's what we had to do with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can cross out nine ones and five tens. <laughs> and what do we have left? We have two tens and one, two, three ones, twenty-three.